What's up everyone, my name is Shulton, and today I bring you my strongest build. Now we're gonna go over gear fairly fast because technically I've already showed this build, but on my hunting horn. I'm using the same armor set, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna read every freaking skill that I have, so what I'm gonna show you guys is a quick what gear I'm using, what decorations I'm using, what's my skill setup, but I'm not gonna read what the skills do. I think at this point most people know what skills do anyways. So, and then I'm gonna show it in action. So, we got the Basil Varga Rock Slayer, Attack Charm Tree, Affinity Booster, Rock Steady Mantle, Kaiser Crown Alpha, Kushal Assista Beta, Kaiser Vambraces Alpha, Kaiser Coil Beta and the Death Stench Heal Beta. In decorations, we are currently running three Vitality Jewel, one Attack Jewel, one Tenderizer, and two Protection. And this gives us this Attack Boost Level 4, Anti Craft Level 4, Health Boost Level 3, Weakness Exploit Level 3, Blast Attack Level 2, Latent Power Level 2, Divine Blessing Level 2, and we have the Teostra Technique, which is going to be great because that's going to help us keep our White Sharpness for as long as we possibly can. So this is the setup. Like I said, if you want to see um, a more detailed look at the skills, I have a build video for my Hunting Horn. I'm using the same set of armor on it, but uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys just how strong this build can be. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a hunt that I went in. Uh, it's a Nergigante hunt. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys just how fast you can take down an Elder Dragon with this build. First of all, you go for attack up L. Um, you know, we just want to boost our damage. We're going to use a lot of items here uh, to boost our damage. And so, we are going to pick the quest. There you go. Now, this isn't a tempered Nergigante, but again, just imagine the same thing, but he hits harder. But this is a, you know, high rank Nergigante, but Nergigante is always high rank. Alright, so we're in the hunt. Now you're gonna see me use an ancient potion here. Mega Demon Drug. Mega Armor Skin. Now this is the you know, this is the whole shebang, right? You're you're using all of your items as much as possible. Might seed, demon powder. Again, I don't do this every hunt. But this is just to show how powerful you can get. Hard shell, hard shell powder. Affinity booster we're going to throw down. Rock steady mantle. A must. Might pill. So here we go. We got all the items we can use. And we're just going to start. Drop the affinity booster. And just start slicing. Now this was a bad start. <laughs> because I missed most of my shots. And now he's away from the booster. Now he's back into it. Now again, this isn't a speed run per se. Like, I'm not a speed runner. I'm not the kind of guy who does these crazy build setups where you have heroics and everything. But this is an everyday normal hunt build pretty much. I mean, I use this on a regular basis. And I can s safely say that the results are really consistent. You know, you're going to crit a lot, you're going to do a lot of damage, you're going to go real fast. And I gotta say, um, I've only recently started playing Longsword, and as you know me, I've been trying a lot of new weapons lately. And uh, Longsword is one of them, because I was looking at my, uh, here I could have bombed him, but uh, I didn't bring any bombs because I wasn't accounting for my cat putting him to sleep <laughs> which you know would have made this run go a little faster um, but yeah now I'm off course and I <laughs> don't remember what I was talking about 
So yeah, you can see here we're just wailing on him. And this is great, right? You're just dominating the shit out of Nergigante. And you can see here, I'm still in my white sharpness. Uh, keeping it for a fair... Like, I'm almost halfway there. But it's staying up for a long time, right? And that's all because of the Teostra technique. And you just keep throwing him on his back. Just keep slicing. He can't even make his spikes most of the time, so he can stop him from doing his Superman dive. And you can see here, I'm not, I'm not trying too hard. Like I'm not here trying to stop him from running away successful that was just ready at the right time here I totally missed a huge DPS window but like I said you know I, I've only started with the weapon um, and I'm not a speedrunner I'm not a god at monster hunter I just I, I like to do I, I do believe my builds are strong um, I'm just not the greatest player of all time but I do feel that this shows that, you know, for an average guy who hasn't played... Like, I played Monster Hunter in the past, but it wasn't anything too crazy. Here you go, he's already limping. Now, here's where I fucked up. I should have picked up some, some of these pods and just stopped him, but I didn't. And so I could have shaved a lot of wasted time here. Like, easily a good 30 seconds, I'd say. Maybe a little less. But still, you know, this is, uh, like I said, it's not a speed run. It's just showing that you can do this without too much effort. And you just dominate. Now, the screams are not helping, that's for sure. And here you go, just trying to finish him off. Now I'm taking a lot of risks here. Oh. <laughs> that would have been so badass if I would have caught him in the air. I, 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 I wished so hard that it would catch him at that moment, but it didn't. And it pro it would have probably killed him too. Still. Like I said, this is not the fastest time. Um, I've seen a lot of guys who can do Nergigante in two minutes. Uh, even some guys who do it in one minute thirty. But again, this isn't a speed run. This is just a normal run. I do use a lot of items to boost my damage. Um, if I remember correctly, when I start off, my damage is at... Uh, 749 and when I use all my items I go about 930 so you know it's just it's a really significant amount so again I don't use all these items every hunt but that was just you know testing the field trying to see just just how fast can I do Nergigante right how fast can I bring down an elder dragon and now we're gonna see the time here real soon And here you go, 5 minutes, 2 seconds. I mean, that's pretty good, right? It, especially if you cut the time that I had to run uh, item, that I had to use my item. So this is under 5 minutes of fighting. So, you know, like I said, not the fastest time ever. But it's up there. And you're doing it without taking too many risks, right? I like... I'm not using many items to heal myself, I'm just wailing on him, bringing him down, breaking parts, breaking his spikes. Um, so yeah, I do believe this is my strongest build uh, as of late. Um, if you want to try it, uh, I highly recommend it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the build, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.